What's up guys? I'm Captain Aaron Stasiak, owner and founder of the Qualified Captain. Uh, you've probably seen on our Instagram page that we offer trauma kits for you guys to kind of stay safe on the water. What's good? What's what's worth having a trauma kit if you don't know how to use the equipment involved? Um, I got DJ Strunz here with me today. That's going to basically run down the basics. Aaron, thanks so much for having us. Man. We're really excited about this collaboration. This is a, a new kit uh, in addition to the trauma kits that you already offer. Uh, this is the new Maritime Medical Kit, which uh, meets or exceeds all Coast Guard standards. So it's a great addition for your boat, uh, regardless of size. Safety on the water is obviously a really important thing. If you follow Qualified Captain, you see the results of bad decisions. And uh, we think it's really important for you to be empowered, to be able to treat your family members, yourself, or uh, someone else. And this is a great way to do it. Okay, your kit comes with an orange cat tourniquet. Today, for training purposes, we're gonna utilize a blue one. Always train with a different tourniquet than what you keep in your kit. This is to save your life. Have a separate tourniquet for training. We wanna introduce you to the cat tourniquet and how to apply it. It's a very simple device. This is designed to occlude blood flow or stop blood flow to an extremity. If you have an injury on a leg or an arm, the idea is to place this two to three inches above that defined wound. If you're not exactly sure uh, the extent of the injury, it is perfectly fine to go high up, as high as you can on that limb, whether it be on the arm or the leg. Follow these simple steps and you're good to go. So for your single-handed application, you're gonna grab your tourniquet, you're gonna shake it out, make a loop, slide it over the limb, and then you're gonna grab this red tip. It's really important when you first apply this tourniquet to cinch as much of the slack out of the band as possible. So you cinch it down really tight on the limb. And now you're gonna take your windlass and twist it until the bright red bleeding stops. In this case, I'm only gonna give it one rotation, but it'll probably take you two to three turns to stop that, although one did the trick. Now I'm gonna take my leftover tail, pass it through the windlass retention clip, I'm gonna go ahead and pass it back through around the windlass just to lock it more securely into place. And I'm gonna take that time stamp windlass retention strap and put it across and your tourniquet is applied. It's that simple. It's not rocket science, it's super basic, but that buys you the time to get to help and stops that bleeding in your extremity. Just want to demonstrate a lower extremity or leg application of your tourniquet. A simple scenario could be a prop injury, a shark bite, any sort of injury to your lower extremity, and we want to stop bleeding fast. So we're going to take our tourniquet, we're going to open it up and take it out of the retention buckle. We're going to slide this under his leg, bringing it up through making sure there's nothing if he's wearing pants in his pocket. I'm gonna take this, cinch this down as tight as we can. Bring our strap back around. And now we're gonna utilize that windlass. Like before, just like your arm application, we're just gonna give you twist until the bright red bleeding stops. Engage the windlass in the clip. Pull your time strap across. Now the kit comes with a marker so I can write the time that this was applied so that first responders know when I applied my tourniquet and I'm good to go. And you've bought yourself time to get to help. How's that feel, Aaron? No, it's tight. Does that hurt? <laughs> eh, it's tight. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. I want to thank DJ and North American Rescue to come out and break down what's actually inside these kits. They'll be available this spring on our website. And, uh, you know, stay safe this summer, guys. It's going to be a busy one.